Hey guys, so you might wonder why my level 4 Muramets is sitting in my hangar. You guys know how I completely hate the Muramets and I hate all the people that run it. Well, today we are going to change that. It is 10% off Platinum and I have 2,621. So yeah guys, I am open to trying something new. Let me put some weapons on this thing and modules and then I will go about seeing if I can level this, how high I can get it, that kind of thing. I'll be back in a sec. Okay guys, so the Gargantua and Pantagruel are on here. As for modules, I did come across a bit of a problem. Um, there's not enough for the Quantum Sensor, so I might have to level another Onslaught Reactor. But yeah guys, maybe it's finally time for the Muramets to get some love. It's the only Titan that I have that isn't leveled. Even my kid is leveled higher than this. So this is painful because it's taken me about a month to save up all this Platinum. Uh, but we're finally going to spend it, or absolutely all of it. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to see how far we can get this. Hopefully, the Muramets can get a lot of health. So, let's get all of them to five. So, 374,000 health. That's not actually that much still. But if I have modules and stuff as well, it should help. Okay, there we go. We still have a ton of Platinum. So, let's just try and get this thing all the way to level 30. But yeah, guys, this is probably what I'll be running on it. Although, maybe I should level some weapons. Um, It looks like I'm going to definitely have enough platinum. So yeah, guys, I'm going to level a few weapons as well. What is a good build for the Muramets? Okay. Anyway, so we've managed to get it to level 30, which is weird on its own. I'm going to do this uh, Onslaught Reactor first, actually. Of course, whatever weapons I pick, this will make them do more damage uh, to Titans and regular robots. So I genuinely think it's better if I level this first. I don't know how much these cost. I think it's like a 1,000. So that is going to be pretty costly, but we are going to have some Platinum left for weapons. Okay... Level 20. Oh, it's getting expensive now. Oh, 61 at the end there. There we go. Maximum level. We only have 963 platinum left, guys. So, let's see how many weapons we can level with this, guys. Um, Actually, what could we... We need to do another Dazzler because I only have one at level 10. Um, We have three more here, so I'll probably let... Oh, Basilisk. Basilisk crate is such a good build. I actually might level my Basilisks. Basilisk crate. Yeah, I'm definitely doing that, guys. Let's go. The Baihu Basilisk at last is getting leveled. This has been in my hangar for so long. Well, in my inventory for so long, guys. I'm only going to get it to level 10. Oh, that barely used any platinum as well. Um, that's actually crazy, guys. I might as well do a crate as well if I'm going to be running that build. This is good because it means I'll be able to make um, quite a few videos on the Muramets for you guys. It's going to be so weird seeing me run a Muramets though, because I hate them. All you do is camp, but um, and I never see them really get any kills unless they have Lantern and Dazzler. So, I'm, go I'm, open, I'm open to um, Persuasion to see whether this thing was worth my time. Um, I don't know what I'll run it with just now. I'll probably... I'll run one game after I finish upgrading it. In fact, I'll probably use Gargantua and Pantacruel because they're the newest weapons. Surely it has to do well with the newest weapons, guys. So, um, oh, we need to another Dazzler, actually. I almost forgot. We'll get this to level 10 so we can run the blind build as well. Um, and then whatever leftover platinum I'm just going to put into giving it extra health because that's what it's going to need the most. I'm going to use the North Flight while I run this as well. Come on, can we make... 400,000 so close oh guys we were actually really close I might try and get this thing to level 50 um, and then I'll, I'll probably keep it in my hangar but yeah guys I think a first game is in order to test this thing out right so we have dropped in on valley map I'm gonna use the Skyros first hopefully I can run some beacons to charge up my Titan and then we'll see how well it does hello scorpion oh Wait, look at this. I'm pushing the scorpion. Oh, he could have got a free beacon if he came with me. That's one of the things people always underestimate. When you cap a beacon, your orbital strike goes up 
which is actually a huge amount because you only need to get like five beacons um, changing them counts as well uh, and then you're almost at 100% and you can have a free orbital strike just from beacons this guy is in an Orochi I can't really do anything about him oh I hate scatter Kepris how are they so strong get off the beacon let's go let's go it's working why is nobody getting the beacon I just pushed him off for nothing I'm getting the beacon I'll have to do it myself go away are you serious I this is ridiculous guys no one's even got sent yet and it's a minute into the game finally let's go the scatter Capri decided to go all the way around there I'm not sure why uh, I might go for their home beacon if I can get past them quick enough. Oh, that scorpion's right next to me. I think the Kepri's scared of him. Hopefully he won't get me. Oh, no. Oh, I can hear his scatters. How close is he? Okay, not that bad. Maybe I can push him. Oh, that's so annoying. I'm just going to go for another beacon. The Titan... Maybe this doesn't charge up the Titan bar as quickly as I remember. But I will, I will definitely test out the new mess in this game. There's a shell here. We should be able to... Oh, there we go. He got destroyed. What is, what is wrong with you? What did I even do? That guy was actually chasing me down. He was, he was literally in a scatter head breed. How does it do that much damage? That's ridiculous. Okay, this guy has really low HP. I should be able to kill him. Come on, reload! Oh, I so could have got the kill. This guy's gonna die because he's using prisoners at 200 meter range. Let's link to the other Kepri. Come on, my Orion's nearly ready. I can destroy the Erebus. Oh no! I've got the North Light. I'm so dumb. <laughs> I thought I still had. We still killed him anyway. Oh my gosh. I thought I had the Orion still, no way. I forgot I switched to the North like because of the Muramets. Speaking of the Muramets, we do need to switch into it pretty soon. Um, oh, me and this Blitz, I hope he stays on that beacon while I get center. He's actually pretty tanky. He can hold up against this guy. Where are you going? He wasn't going to do anything, that's actually annoying. Let's get center anyway. Oh, that guy just teleported into the air. Right, we have another North Flight, so... Oh, come on. Heal. There we go. We have a massive Aegis Shield now. I have started to notice a lot more people using the North Flight, though. It's actually ridiculous. There are so many people with Aegis Shields. Um, shield Breaker might actually be used, like, a lot more now. Let's try and kill... I think that's an Outbing up there. Oh... We didn't even do anything. What is your problem? He's not even got proper weapons on it. I'm actually going to die. If I die to that guy, I actually didn't. Let's go. I've only got two cudgels left. Come on. Oh, oh, I still actually did a lot of damage to him. Okay, okay, here we go, guys. Look at this monumental moment. Wolf 17 in a Muramets. No way. Can we get any kills with it is the question. They're all hiding behind there. They've seen me bring it out, guys. Okay, that was decent damage. Um, I think that uh, that's the Owl Ming over there. Oh, I need my North Light to heal the Muramets. Right, how good. Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, look how many people my weapons are aiming at. I'm not going to even get a single kill, though. Oh, that actually aimed at so many people, though. How did I not get a single kill there? That's crazy. Oh, I'm scared of this guy. I thought he was in a harpy about to take off. Can we get the kill? Surely I can get the kill. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty good. Um, okay, let's try and go for the shell. Oh, look at the weapons. Oh, double kill. No way, guys. I might be able to kill this guy as well. Triple kill. Oh, my gosh. EMP him. Can I kill him with that? I killed him with the EMP. Oh, gosh. Someone's destroying me. 
Oh, no. I'm going to die straight away. We got a rampage, though, guys. We got a rampage. Okay, okay, okay. Um, oh, my thoughts right now. I can't believe it. That was... Um, I don't know what to say. We got a rampage, but we did go down really quickly. Um, I'll run a few more games with the Neuromets um, off camera. There'll probably be some videos on it. But that was my first time running it properly in Champion League. We got a rampage, guys. It's only level 30 as well, remember. Oh, I totally stole that one, though. Let's go. Oh, I don't know what to say. I am impressed, I'm not going to lie. That was pretty good. A rampage, and even though I got wiped out straight away, I'm pretty impressed that a level 30 Neuromets got a rampage. Was it the weapons? I have no idea. Um, I guess I'll find out when I run different builds. Come on, surely I can get this Hawk. Oh, he's so low. Let's link to the Skyros. Um, oh, look at this. I'm about to take the beacon right under this guy's nose. Kill the Hawk. Yes. Quick, use the North Light. Oh, I wasted it. Well, that was annoying. Let's use the Harpy next. Oh, come on. Why did it not drop me in? Oh, no. Have I been frozen out of the game? Come on. Oh, that's ridiculous. No, because we're actually going to lose now. The Fenrir instead. It didn't even work. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. What's happening? Maybe if I wait a bit? What is happening? Come on. There we go. That was actually bad. Oh, if we lose this game now. Yeah, I, I don't know. That guy's in a Titan. So... Uh, are they all in Titans? Who is that? Oh, we don't have a chance. Okay, we're actually going to lose this game. They're all in Titans. Maybe I can kill this guy? Titan Slayer, let's go! We are get. I'm still fighting, guys. We're still going. Okay, I'm dead. Use it quickly! There we go, 115,000 more health, but I think I'm going to lose it all. Go into the air! Oh, I crashed into that thing. Nah, we've definitely lost. We were doing so well as well. Oh, these blinding weapons are so annoying. I'm going to get vaporized before I even touch the ground. Right, let's go for some extra damage before we inevitably lose here. That's a uh, blinding Muramet. He has the Lantern and Dazzler. I'm going to have to try that out now because I actually can. Well, we've, we're definitely going to lose. He took flight right to the end. Well, guys, that was definitely um, interesting. So we got first on the team 8 kills, 7 beacons. 4.2 million damage, guys. Here are the honor points. That was actually pretty crazy and... Yeah, I have a new view of the Muramets now. Okay, guys, so what are my final thoughts on the Muramets? Well, for starters, it did get a few more kills than I expected. Um, it did get wiped out as quick as I thought it would, though, but I think this is going to be more of a high-risk, high-reward Titan. I'm definitely going to keep running it for a bit just so I can like get good at uh, using it and seeing what it can do and what it can't. But yeah, guys, let me know your builds for the Muramets if you run it. I want to see some killer builds in the comments, guys. I'll try running all of them. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.